A recent study took an in-depth look at the impact of exercise on cardiovascular health. Several studies have proven regular exercise over decades to be an effective protection against health issues like cardiovascular disease, hypertension, and obesity. But this latest study reinforces that even doing just a little bit is a significant risk reduction. Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike joins us now. Hey, Dr. Mike, how's it going? So what are, what are the study's conclusions about this? Well, Casey, everyone has heard about the fact that if you exercise, it's good for your health. But basically what this study and what this data has shown is that it helps just about everything, not just your overall health, but lowers your risk of elevated blood sugar so it helps diabetes, lowers blood pressure, lowers uh, cholesterol, improves congestive heart failure, and prolongs your life. Now, Casey, I got to tell you, I try my best to exercise like everyone else. I work for a living, so I don't have a trainer or anything like that. But I try because I don't want my wife, Casey, spending my money with some young buck named Rico Suave because I keeled over. I don't want that. Yeah, we don't want that. Uh, so uh, we want you happy, Dr. Mike. Yeah, so we it, don't want that. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> You don't, is this study saying, though, that you don't have to do this rigorous workout routine, though? You can just walk around a little bit. You can run around in your backyard, do some gardening. Is that what this is saying? Just move, basically? Well, bas yeah, basically, Casey, even with uh, uh, smaller amounts of, of, like, brisk walking or what some people call exercise snacks, now, I don't know about you, but instead of taking the elevator, I take the stairs. I bet you you're a stair kind of guy because of how you look. You take care of your body. Bottom line is, is that even things like that can help you get into shape and be more cardiovascularly fit. Now, the more you do, obviously, the better off you're going to be. And I call that investing in your health 401k. But if you want to just get up and do something, it's going to improve your health. No question about it. Yeah. I am a stairs guy. We have a lot of stairs here at Fox 7. I don't take the elevator. It's too slow anyway. There you go. <laughs> Final thoughts. That's why you're the man. You are the man. I, you're the man, you. Casey. You're the man. I, I think I am You're the, the man. You're right. So, so are you, Dr. Mike. Any final thoughts about this study? Uh, yes. Move your bones. Get up off the couch and start doing something. Because, you uh, again, you want to invest in that health 401k so that you can not only be alive later in your life, but that you'll be with it, active, and enjoy those later years in life. Do Dr. it. Mike. Thank you so much. We appreciate your good advice as always. We'll see you next time. Yes, sir. Thank you, Casey.